and welcome. This is Melissa Irma with the Stock Swoosh reviewing the SPY here. So I'm taking a look at the market. You know, market's not over the high yet in the SPY. And I know a lot of people are along this. And you can't deny the fact that the market's been rallying. But it's kind of a pathetic rally. To me, when I look at this, I say we're in a range. The range had widened, but it's still a range nonetheless. And so until we just, until we, to be honest with you, until we break over the high, uh, I, you know, we're in this range. The weight range is going like this. Like, here's the range. Like, first it was like this, and then it peaked a little bit above it. Like, it peaked a little bit above it today. This, this, that doesn't, this doesn't count. This is still in the range, okay? Market is having a hard time breaking out here in the SPY. There are some things that are dragging this down. One of the things are the financials. And although people are in here long, and although the market's very strong, and I know the QQQs made new highs, the fact is that the SPY could present a problem here. And again, I'm looking at the sector of the financials to be the real problem with it. The SPY could present a problem here about getting over the high where it's August. Okay, we got five more months left to the end of the year. Uh, there's less than August, September, October. We have three more months left to the election. That's hard to believe. It's actually crazy. It doesn't even feel like an election year the way things are. Uh, but anything can happen. Anything can happen between now and election period and certainly between now and the end of the year. All the big earnings are out already that would affect this market. And if this market was going to blow over the highs, I would have thought it would have done it on something like a big blowout earnings, which could have happened in a conjunction like Amazon and Apple together or whatever, and you didn't have it in Amazon, you did have it in Apple. And even though it moved the queues higher, this spy has been lagging, but you can't deny the strength in the market. If you've been short, you've been losing here, unless you did selective days. To me, this is still in a range, and I can't wait to see where it goes, but I will be watching it. I've been reading the market very well this year. I do read the market very well. It's tricky, it's tricky. I don't get it right all the time, but I get it right a lot more than I get it wrong, and I get it right more than anybody, quite frankly, that I know. And the reason is because I read gaps. I read the bearish gaps in the market. I read the bullish gaps in the market, just like here today. And we are very much driven by news right now in this market. Not so much by the economy, hard to believe, I know, considering the unemployment rate and everything else and all the businesses shut down. We've been more news driven than economic driven and anything else. That doesn't really make a lot of sense for people to follow fundamentals, but you got to respect the price and you got to respect the numbers and the market isn't an uptrend and that's just a fact. If you'd like more information and want to learn how to read the market and how to read gaps, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. The next class for this earnings season is August 8th and 9th, and you can still sign up. The deadline is Friday. Thanks, everyone, and stay safe.